new calculation of the angular velocity and rotational radius of photons in the universe. In previous articles, we calculated the rotational and translational energy of photons using the speed of photons in a nested helical path. V of t is equal to 3.3 times c, and we examined its relationship with Planck's energy equation. We now proceed to calculate the constant angular velocity omega by equating the translational and rotational energy at a frequency of 600 trohertz. Subsequently, considering the constancy of the angular velocity across all frequencies, we drive a formula to calculate the radius of the rotation of photons r in terms of the variable coefficient of rotational energy i of r. Finally, we calculate the rotational radius for several frequencies within the range of visible light. Where A of R is the amplitude of rotational motion and A of L is the amplitude in linear motion, the rotational radius is the vector sum of these two perpendicular quantities. Therefore, we have At a frequency of 600 terahertz, the linear amplitude is one quarter of the wavelength. So we have Now, with the rotational radius for green light at a frequency of 600 terahertz, we calculate the constant angular velocity of photons. Using the obtained angular velocity for the rotational radius of photons, we have Now, by substituting different values, we obtain the rotational radius of several visible light spectra. Finally, we calculate the linear and rotational velocity for the frequency f is equal to 600 terahertz, where E of r is equal to E of l using two methods and comparing the results. On the other hand, for the rotational speed considering the rotational radius r of g is equal to 1.76 times 10 to the power of minus 7 and omega is equal to 4 times 10 to the power of 15. So, By comparing the obtained rotational and linear speeds, it is evident that both values are equal, which serves as proof of the accuracy of the presented calculations.